headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, power 1017. All right, 637, Jess, what you got today? Here we go. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp declared a state of emergency and activated 1,000 National Guard troops yesterday in response to protest in downtown Atlanta that have been going on for more than a year. The protest outside of the 90 million construction site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center grew larger and angrier after the shooting death last week of one of the demonstrators. Officials said that the man was shot by police after he shot and wounded a state trooper at the scene. A spokesman for the governor said that the National Guard activation order was a precautionary measure and that the troops have not yet been sent to the scene. So a state of emergency has been declared in Atlanta. Obamacare is thriving. More than 16 million Americans are now getting their health insurance through the federal site known as Obamacare, according to an announcement from the White House. That is a record number and a 13 percent increase over the numbers of a year ago. The website called healthcare.gov allows people to enroll in their choice of four levels of insurance coverage. It automatically attaches subsidies for those who uh, fall behind the set income thresholds. Variations of the website are available in 33 states that accepted the program. The FBI and its international partners have disrupted the network of a ransomware gang that extorted payments from hospitals and school districts. The gang seized control of their victims' networks and demanded payments for their release. The feds turned the tables on the extortionists. Simply put, using lawful means, we hacked the hackers, said the Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco. A flurry of discoveries of classified documents that were carted out of the White House. Contrary to federal law, the National Archives has sent a letter to most former presidents and vice presidents asking them to please check their files. <sighs> classified documents have been found now in the homes or offices belonging to Donald Trump, former Vice President Mike Pence, our current president, Joe Biden. This means that letters are headed now to President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, plus the offices of the late presidents George H.W. Bush and Ronald Reagan and also Al Gore and Dan Quayle. Former President Jimmy Carter is not on the list because he held office before the Presidential Records Act went into effect. All right, so they're sending out letters. They think that all these presidents could possibly or they just want to make sure they, they think that they could have like some kind of classified documents in their files. I don't know. Right now they said Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and our current president, Joe Biden, they found classified documents at their homes. Now letters are being sent out to But all right, let me I'm just I'm just asking, and I know we don't know the answer to this. So what? this is kind of like a rhetorical question. But like <sighs> who cares? Like about the documents? Yeah. What is the document what, exactly that finding? I have and no what do they do? Yeah, but again, this is a rhetorical question. But like, what are they doing? What I, I'm are tired the of hearing about documents. That's what I'm curious. It's like a Jerry about. Seinfeld bit. Like, what are these documents? Like, like I'm, I'm tired of hearing about the doc. What are they going to do? Are they going to use these documents for something? If are they, they going to sell them? Are they going to sell them to Russia? You know if what I'm saying? Classified, Stop like it. Private that no one is supposed to see. Well, you know, for damn sure, they then, ain't finding them in... Uh, in how do you... You know, for damn well, they ain't finding them in Barack and Michelle's storage. Are they in your luggage the, uh, or something from when the you White left? House. In your luggage. What are they... I like, mean, how do you leave with it? As, well, you know, the presidents, when they're done, you know they, they didn't pack their like, own bags. But do they give them, like, a binder of stuff or something? Like, Who's they? That's the other question. Whoever packs their stuff. I don't know. It, it's just like... Or Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Joe Biden. What they... I mean, obviously, the paperwork that they found on him is when he was vice president. Donald Trump probably took him to threaten. That's a whole nother thing. But if it was anybody else, <laughs> he probably... They took, what? He, they what? Donald Trump probably took him to use him against oh, uh, oh, the, oh. the person he's... Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole nother thing. But everybody else... I'm just curious how it all works. You know, I'm just saying, like, like who... When you move in, you move out, and, like, what's given to you? I don't know. And what and is how it, how does this end up like in your garage? All these yeah, all these years later, who cares? You know how many papers I got in my garage? I wonder if I got any document uh documents. Some top secret documents in our garage. You might have what, something. What, what's that gonna do? You might have something. What do the top secret documents say? You you don't know, they're top secret. <laughs> like, come on. 
Like I'm like. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I think this is like a waste of. What's considered this? classified documents? Like, what is it a that distraction. they're finding? And the FBI has to go there and search, and then they find classified documents and what? Ooh. They take them. Take them where? Ooh. Back to. Ooh, classified documents. Who cares? So like a safe. So then they go in one storage and say, "Put them I'm in." Just curious. I'm just asking. Put them in Unit 52 instead of Unit 64. What are the types? Like, what difference is it? Of classified. All right, there's three levels. Okay. Of classification: confidential, secret, and then top secret. I want to know. Didn't Donald Trump like rip them up and put them in the I toilet? No, did he? That's how he used to get rid of them. I don't know. <laughs> did he? Uh, Jesus. Bill, stop. Did he really? That was like a thing. That was a thing. I just don't get it though. I don't understand. You know, like the whole confidential, thing. secret, and top secret. Okay. So. I'm tired of hearing about the dumb documents. They that's mean, what I know. All, Classified it means information nothing to me. nothing. is that which a government or agency deems sensitive enough to national security that access to it must be controlled or restricted. For example, and then they give you different things here related to weapons of mass destruction, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So classified information. Yeah, but what? What, what is, is the information? sensitive enough to national security that access must be controlled and restricted. Again, it's broken down into three categories, confidential, secret, and top secret. Okay? Mm. There you go. You know what else I'm tired of hearing about? What? Hunter Biden's laptop. Anything else, though, with that? I haven't heard anything lately. I, I don't know. that You know, every once in a while yeah, you'll I see. Yeah, I haven't heard anything lately, though. The, you know. Like, I'm, is that even still a thing? Is it? What's on the laptop? What's on the laptop? I don't know. I thought that it was. Well, Who cares? Never mind. never mind what I heard. What, some nudes? I don't know. Who cares? I don't know. The person who's saying he's got nudes on his laptop, you got them on I there, too. I don't know what he's involved What's in. on your laptop? <laughs> I don't want to look at your laptop. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, what's that got to do with me? Oh, gosh. It's just like it's... Whew. I don't know. What, they top secret documents on there? Who cares? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's tired of hearing about it. It doesn't, affect, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect me. It's not going to affect your kid's school. You know what I mean? Like, come on. You're just like... Hmm. His family should get arrested. Shut up. Here locally. Stop it. <laughs> like, get a life. You know? I don't know. It's nerve-wracking. I'd rather talk about football. You know? Like, like, uh, why are we talking about a stupid about laptop? It. Cares. Yeah, well, uh, what else you got, Jess? All right, so <laughs> plastic bands are soon to be a thing of the past. Okay. And Easton is now following the new ordinance. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, you know, local business owners are coming forward saying that so far they are going to get ahead of the curve and they've already saved about 250,000 plastic bags. Mm. <sighs> okay. Now, a little more serious. A 15-year-old um, has been charged in connection to a threat. At a Salisbury High School last week on Friday, January the 20th. I don't know if you remember this, but deputies were alerted to a note that was found inside of Parkside High School with a threatening message. The picture was trending online. Deputies worked closely with the Wicomico County Public Schools personnel to ensure that the school was safe and no harm would come to students or staff. The threat, um, you know, did concern students, staff, the community, and it caused a safety uh, response that disrupted a majority of the school day. So through the investigative measures, police were able to identify a 15-year-old male student of the school as the suspect in the incident. Due to the subject's age, a juvenile referral was completed and the juvenile was released to the custody of their guardian pending disposition by the Department of Juvenile Services. The juvenile has now been charged with threats of mass violence, disturbing operation, which was at the school, disorderly conduct, disturbing the peace, and two counts of school, molest, etc. of other locations. So that's the updated story with that. And Seaford police are continuing 
on working on identifying the shoplifting suspect. So the Seaford Police Department is asking for the public's help in identifying a suspect wanted for shoplifting tools from Lowe's. Police say that the suspect was last seen driving a white colored 2018 Toyota with a Maryland registration of 7DF6619. Anyone who has any information, please call the Seaford Police Department at 302-629-6645. And on their website, they put up a picture of the suspect at Lowe's. Okay. 648. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got sports up next. Hey.